everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and for our last quick shot of the week, I wanted to take a look at something classic. This is the Wolverine and the Driver Cover Girl. I have already done a review of this vehicle and figure, but I'm so fond of this set, I wanted to take another look at them. And since I did that review, I've got an upgrade to the vehicle. I have to thank Byron Kellogg, a longtime friend of the channel, for sending me an intact tow rope for the Wolverine. Wolverine. My old one was broken. This one is nice and clean and intact. Very nice. Of course, the plastic on these tends to shrink a bit, so it actually doesn't completely fit on the tabs where it should, uh, but that is, I think, a pretty common problem with these tow ropes. But it's unbroken, and that's the important thing. These tow ropes are so hard to find unbroken, so I really thank Byron for sending that to me. The Wolverine is a single-person vehicle, and it looks great. It is so realistic looking uh, with its 12 missiles and two missile box that can turn and elevate. Um, it's got that classic dark green color. Just a wonderful uh, old school G.I. Joe vehicle. Uh, this looks like something you would see on the battlefield. There's nothing especially science fiction or fantasy about this. This looks like a realistic military vehicle. Of course, it has a removable engine cover too with engine detail. Just lots to love about this vehicle. And then, of course, Cover Girl. Uh, is the second female G.I. Joe action figure in the vintage line. Uh, and this figure is pretty good. Yes, there were perhaps better figures that came later, but this was pretty good for 1983. The sculpting was not bad. A uh, very utilitarian looking figure, which I think is good for CoverGirl. Uh, I think that actually fits her personality pretty well. And I do like this figure paired with this vehicle. Will I review this set again in the future? Maybe. I haven't decided. That old review could stand to be updated. And I do really enjoy looking at this vehicle and figure. I hope you enjoyed this very brief look at it. Thank you very much for watching, and please tune in next time for a full vintage G.I. Joe toy review.